Hi, today I'd like to talk about uh, designer Van de Truix. He, I just finished reading a book about him and they said he was the man who defined 20th century taste. Um, he started his career at the Parsons Design School in New York City. And there was said he, his influence uh, worked through an entire generation of interior designers. After that, he went to work for Tiffany & Company in the year 1957. At that time, Tiffany was floundering. They had their Victorian silver, and they had rather traditional, not exciting china and crystal. One interesting story is about his redesigning of china. Uh, he wanted things that were different, and different could be modernistic or it could be something from the past that uh, was timeless. And he created this china pattern called Wild Strawberry. At that time, the Wedgwood Company was creating all of Tiffany's china, and they thought it would be a terrible failure. And they were sure that there, there was going to be a huge loss involved with this wild strawberry china. So they told Tiffany that they needed an extremely large order and that Tiffany was responsible for, have it, for paying for the order, whether it sold or not. When they told Van de Truix the, um, the size of the order, he exclaimed, well, that's not nearly enough. Uh, triple that order. And he was exactly right. It was the biggest hit Wedgwood China ever had, and for decades it continued selling. Okay, on the silver front, he um, got items not only from the United States, but he broadened the reach, and he got things from England, France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, and Mexico. Okay, so uh, what kind of things did he get? Uh, from Italy, he got these sort of modernistic 20th century style sterling leaves. He also got shells. Uh, these cute little duck place card holders are from Portugal. So very modern 20th century. Okay, my favorite piece that I have of his is this Mexican really heavy frog trinket box. It's very realistic. It opens up and you can put your rings or whatever in it, but this is the kind of piece that he did that he's famous for and are becoming quite valuable. Okay, as far, on the flatware front, what he created was almost, mis, was almost by accident. So, he thought that bamboo was a great motif. So he created a desk set with sterling bamboo, and then in this case, it's a magnifying glass, a lucite. Pretty interesting design. It was a huge success. So he had letter openers, he had many items in the desk set. And uh, people asked for more. And so he created a bar set. Here's, here's a bar knife. And so again, martini spoons, you name it, they made it. And then, Tiffany had no intention of creating a flatware pattern, but they, there was such an outcry from the customer saying, we want more pieces, that they created the Bamboo by Tiffany Sterling flatware pattern. They went even further than that. They um, created dinner plates, candlesticks, uh, little calendars, you name it. I even saw a, um, a Bamboo straight razor. So, and, no, and a safety razor. So, I mean, they really created everything they could out of bamboo. Van Day's influence can still be seen today because the bamboo pattern, while discontinued like most Tiffany patterns, is very popular. It's one we can hardly keep on the shelf. Anyway, um, if you're looking for great 20th century items that are going to be even more popular tomorrow, I suggest Van Day um, Truex. Thanks.